This is nanosecond pulsed field ablation. It's a little bit of a trickier acronym to remember, but it's so different from RFA. Tell us what's different about the energy that's delivered and the tissue interaction. Right, so, so radio frequency ablation uses high frequency alternating current. And that is just very focused at the end of that tip of the needle. Whereas this particular device is direct current and it releases pulses, nanosecond pulses of energy into the tissue, which creates a halo of energy into that tissue. And that those pulses of energy will, will change the membrane potential of both the cells and also the membrane or the organelles within the cell, causing an influx of ions. Those influx of ions cause what's just a cellular deregulation or just abnormal inner cell processes. So it, wasn't, it won't kill it, it won't burn it, it just causes cell processes to become abnormal. And then the cell itself will then undergo its own process of degeneration, which is, a, which is believed to be a cell-regulated process in which the cell now gets absorbed in a natural way. So instead of having dead tissue there, you have live tissue that absorbs the damaged tissue. And so you just basically get a softer area of tissue with, let, with no scar at all.